Hi, I'm 19 now, or at least I will be when this video comes out. I'm planning to get it out for my birthday. Uh, in my one and a half years of making YouTube videos, I have always gotten something out on my birthday. Well, the one birthday I've had. And I, I don't want this time to be an exception, you know. Always got to do something for my birthday. So I thought I'd just open up OBS and just kind of talk about things. Not even any notes, really. So, you you might be thinking, uh, oh, Logan, why the fuck haven't you uh, made anything since that, since the, the great pruning video, you know? And, uh, well, I've been busy. You know, I've started kind of putting my skills as an editor out there and, like, uh, like two main sort of things at the moment. One, Koto and Spacey, you know, good friends of mine, does a gaming channel. They requested my editing uh, skills and uh, I obliged. And I've also been uh, editing like stream segments, a good channel called Jess and Xena. Uh, very good, like it talks about like politics and mental health. Uh, I've started like taking courses, kind of getting into the nitty gritty of editing. So I think I might have finally found like a career for me, like not just me like making funny stuff for the YouTubes as a hobby. Editing, like that's, Kind of like the one sort of aspect of like creative media where I can like knuckle down, get into that grind set. You know, it just kind of clicks with me, you know. Gonna be learning how to edit, um, which, you know, that is like cutting the video clips and organizing them into place. You know. Video editing, like, and also assistant editing. Uh, for context, the assistant editor in like the film and like TV industry is a person that sits down at the editor's computer at the start of the day and uh, names all the files uh, the, the director and like cinematographer and stuff have shot and like puts them into folders like properly named and organized folders so that the editor doesn't have to spend as much work like digging up the right clips and figuring out which is which you know i'm good at that i like organizing things so i figure i could do that as well i've also one of the 149 people who <laughs> offered their editing services to quinton reviews for whatever project he's cooking up next uh because he put out an offer on his uh channel so <laughs> i highly doubt i'll get that job but it'd be good if i did but no i've kind of been busy with that but don't worry i have got a video underway here i am reviewing hylix you know that weird stop motion rpg that's like really weird it, it's a good game check it out it's got a cool soundtrack but i kind of did a rather like off the cuff really loosely scripted like i was just going off a few notes i took like kind of structured in sort of a way uh, i guess like how jack saint does it except maybe a little cooler maybe a little better also unlike jack saint i don't kind of delve into abuse apology here but you know that's just that's just me i've kind of done the easy bit which is like playing the game recording it and then like writing down some notes like turning that into a more like well formatted notes thing and then ad-libbing based off that and recording as i speak about that and now the hard part is going to be like editing uh, it like finding the right clips to talk about finding the best high wicks movie for the background and maybe like doing a bit of mixing work on that maybe even beat matching i don't fucking know it's kind of fucking weird you know 19 that would be like I, i've be, been an adult for a year it doesn't really feel like it though it doesn't feel all that different yeah it just kind of feels like an extension year for my raising things you know so i haven't finished school yet still living with me with me family <laughs> stuck in this uh in this loft secluded away from everyone else at my computer all day i i do go out for walks you know plenty of opportunity for grass touching kind of procrastinate a lot you know the adhd and all that there's sometimes i could be working on my videos but uh i decide that watching youtube videos uh and also getting into arguments on twitter and getting blocked by people it's gonna be weird i'd say but it seems that now finally I've reached 19, maybe I'm kicking things into gear, you know, I'm getting things done, like doing that whole moving into adulthood thing I should have done a year ago. <laughs> Editing's fun, it's kind of it's kind of my, my passion at this point, you know, it's kind of like my specialty when it comes to the creative arts, video editing. To a lesser extent, you know, writing and acting and also computer programming. That reminds me, I, I, my website desperately needs updating. I need to need to get around to updating the website. Like I was planning to 
after I changed my sort of public name from my real name to Lego Maniac 856, uh, which was the name of my email that I still use uh, that I got when I was 11. The reason why I'm so gung-ho with it, because I've been using it as my business email as well as my personal one. People barely email me anyways. I might as well turn it into my professional one. I don't care how stupid the email name looks. Now I'm not like 11 years old anymore. With my website, I was gonna like update the logo like could change it to something like Omaniac 856 related rather than just Logan's web page. Maybe give the CSS a bit of an overhaul as well, you know. Maybe change like kind of how the website looks. I, ne I never got around to uploading the great pruning to there. And, I and that hasn't been uploaded to my internet archive account either. I should do that tonight. After I've recorded this, I'll fucking upload it. Otherwise, I will feel very disappointed in myself. And also, I was going to, like, add some extra metadata to my website as well. Maybe update the favicons a little and add some more variety to the favicons. Uh, I've already done the process of turning all of my images into WebPs and some of my videos into WebMs. Because here's the funny thing. I'm, I'm going with, like, smaller file size. And due to, like, the differences in how compression works... At 720p, MP4s have a smaller file size than WebMs, but at 1080p, WebMs have a smaller file size than MP4s. So I've been uploading my 720p videos as MP4s and my 1080p videos as WebMs. Uh, I've been using Handbrake to convert from MP4 to WebM. Uh, thank you, Koto, for recommending that to me. It's been a lifesaver. I was going to add some extra metadata... Uh, like what the Mozilla website tutorial thing recommended. Uh, Meta and Twitter both have open source metadata protocols that they use to like as the website embeds on their web on their respective websites. So I need to add metadata for that. But that requires me thinking of thumbnails for that. One of my favorite bits of making a website is. Uh, putting as much metadata in it as possible. I find it fun. And hey, maybe one day I'll do some research into XHTML5 and figure out how to turn my website into an XHTML page or rather than a HTML one. So it's XML readable uh, so that aggregators can read my website because I have nothing better to do with my time. Well, I do have something better to do with my time now, you know, I've got editing work to do. Website kind of has to take a back seat, really. <laughs> as much as I like doing it, like, obviously there's, there's more priorities, isn't there? Fuck, priorities. It's that thing that the adults have to do, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking prioritise things and sort out which things they've got to do first, or like, and kind of put other things on the back burner. It's not just uh, my... Uh, mm -hmm. My ADHD brain doing that anymore. It's like adulting responsibilities as well. And now that I'm doing stuff for other people, I can't just like procrastinate on the videos for ages like I normally do here. You know, I've got to get them out for a deadline. Can't keep people waiting. I guess I have to stop living the swacker's wife if I want to get anywhere, really. You know, the past year and a half of chilling minus that three month period of the fucking crap college, you know, that I dropped out of. <laughs> it's been. Pretty good while it's lasted, but I guess now it's time to move on to greener pastures and the life for, well, responsibilities and deadlines. Of course, I can only do this because I'm a lucky bastard, ultimately, you know. I have the privilege in life to uh, choose an editing job and to potentially just lounge around if I ever got bored of it. I'm only choosing to do all this extra effort and stuff like to having a proper job. That's a choice at the end of the day. It's just because I'm too addicted to throw myself into these projects that I, that I t take it. I guess there's kind of always been this burning desire of mine to like get involved with as many projects as possible, like network, like, like oh, you're working on a project? Oh, that sounds fun. I could, I could get in on that. The combination of my desperate need to create things combined with my desperate need to, to make friends. It is weird being 19. Hey, I wonder where life's going to take me, you know? What am I going to be doing 10 years from now? Like, these are questions I usually don't ask myself because I find that life is a lot easier to live if you're not, like, making plans, like, far ahead of time because then inevitably something big happens and completely fucks over the plans. Like, as long as you're making sure that you don't... that you've got, like, contingency plans in case of hardship, 
you can basically kind of just wing it from there do whatever takes your fancy at the moment like that's kind of how i've lived 19 years old been alive for, for nearly two decades that's interesting you know and hey it's been a decent enough life so far and i guess if i keep things up you know i can be pretty cool for the rest of my life hopefully i'll keep on this editing stuff until i die you know i'll be lying there in bed unable to move much but i'll, I'll have like a fucking computer by my side fucking editing okay retirement sounds fucking boring uh to me i can i can never stand that thought of just kind of lounging around for the rest of your life retirement for me is like the kind of thing that only makes sense if you're stuck one of those kind of mundane jobs that you hate and like i said i am thankfully in a good enough position where i don't have to <laughs> just enough financial security to like get by i'm very lucky in that regard that's about it i think that's all i really need to say i've got videos coming up on the way i've got other people's stuff i'm working on i've got things to do i'll try and get to work on that website i need to i'm gonna up upload the thing now after i've finished recording so uh if you enjoyed whatever the fuck this was check out the rest of my channel there's no consistent theme at the moment but hey judging by the past two uploads i seem to have become some kind of vlog channel or something uh, so uh check out those things like the video subscribe to my channel if you so desire hit the notification bell because i cannot possibly fathom uh being subscribed to a youtube channel and like doing the only get some notifications option. I never got that. I've never understood how that would be appealing. All of them or none of them. You know, you can just dismiss it on the notification table thing. If, if you don't want to see it. If you don't want to watch that particular video. Also, there's the sci Productions Patreon, which is now open. My solo Patreon uh, has finally got a replacement. Uh, sci Productions Patreon, which I run with Koto and uh dakota speaks you know uh, three of us youtube collective uh, uh a small one so we decided to pool our resources and get the money together so you'll be funding all three of us rather than just one of us also if you want to watch me give my opinions on everything get into fights get blocked and also kind of shit post around the world you can follow me on twitter you can look at my website if you feel so inclined. Get a get a taste of some of that lovely 90s web 1.0 flavor. And uh, also, if any of my videos ever get deleted off of the YouTubes, you can watch them and download them from my internet archive account because I give zero shits about, about monetizing the videos here. See you later. Ah. Uh, Bye for now.